what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about dewey riley today now i've already been talking about this pretty much in every other video that i've done on this channel when it relates to screen 5 i'm pretty much convinced dewey riley and his death will be what brings sydney prescott back to her hometown of woodsboro because we've seen in the previous incarnations of this uh series at this point previous entries they sydney that being Sydney does not live in Woodsboro. She hasn't been in this town to stay since the original film. She has visited Woodsboro on a book tour in Screen 4, but she didn't live in this town. Now in Screen 5, it's presumably also safe to assume she's not now once again living in Woodsboro, just given what happened yet again when she returned to her hometown. She has no reason, probably any desire to live in this place. And just because killing sprees start up again, this time, of course, with having very little to do with her to begin with, she's not just going to go rush back to Woodsboro to be a hero type of character. That's not what Sydney's ever been presented as. Sydney is presented as a strong character, but she's never really been the type to get involved in something when it seems to not involve her right off the bat. She's always had to have her hand forced or something to draw her out. So in this instance, Dewey, who presumably is still staying in in uh, Woodsboro, he is going to have to either get seriously injured or die for Sydney to come back to town. It could be Gail, but again, I'm pretty sure Dewey is the thing that will get Sydney to come back to her hometown. Now, in the past, this character Dewey, he out of the three, Sydney, Gail, and himself. I feel like this character, some of you guys have said this also, he feels like the least developed character as far as like growth over the course of these movies that we've gotten from this franchise. Gale and Sydney, there seems to be growth constantly occurring with their characters while Dewey seems to be kind of, he's, he's already reached as far as he's going to go. While we may see him going on like a decline of sorts with him probably not being the sheriff anymore presumably probably having some type of issues going on stemming from a presumed divorce from gail he over the last four films he's just always been the same he's just been the, the guy that's been there for sydney to help her acting like acting like her big brother he's always been her support system and gail and sydney they've just been evolving over over time from when we first met them in the original films to where they are now so i feel like dewey's character will be used as a way to just make them come closer together yet again this time though unfortunately it'd be due to his death in the past he's had plenty of close calls scream one he comes out of the house knife in his back he's alive at the end of the film scream two in some type of soundproof room gail can't hear him on the other side he gets stabbed in the back again presumably multiple times he makes it out of the film alive by the end of scream 2 scream 3 uh he almost I, I, I'll, I'll give him this he almost electrocutes himself to death <laughs> and then before that he had some encounters with ghostface and the butt of that uh knife that ghostface uses when they teased yet again, I, I honestly think that was just to tease us in Scream Theory. He was standing at the top of the flight of stairs. Gun would not work. He's going to try to shoot. Ghostface takes advantage of this to try to throw a knife at him. So I, I'm presuming he wanted to stab him in the head that way. But the butt of the knife hits him. Instead, he tumbles down the stairs. Scream 4, Dewey is almost beaten to death. I'll give Jill credit here. I'm going to give this to her. He almost died by being shot shot in the head if Gail did not follow Jill's orders and then beaten with that pan that Jill had. So how will he die in this one? How would Ghostface kill him? So there's going to, of course, be some chasing involved with this that leads. I would want to see a chasing between just Dewey and Ghostface where maybe what ends up happening is Dewey's put in a position where he thinks he has the upper hand on Ghostface, but Ghostface has the upper hand on him in the end and it results in him getting a his throat slit initially and then the second thing because we're not going to stop there the second thing would be Dewey getting shot in the head with his own gun that's how I would have Dewey killed that's probably a little too brutal 
<laughs> and I know if that happened, some people who are fans of this character, because I'm a fan of I'm a fan of Dewey. I'm a fan of these characters that we've come come to know and love over the last 20 something years at this point and rewatched them countless times with this film series. If you're a big fan of the series like myself and you rewatch these films over and over again. You have plenty of time to sit down and watch the same things happen to these characters, but yet you still feel like you're growing closer to them each time you watch the same events occur. So Dewey getting killed in that manner might be a little bit too gruesome for some people who are fans of the franchise and fans of that character, or maybe just fans of David Arquette in general. Uh, but I feel like that's something that would be emotionally hard to sit through and kind of just be like a big wow moment for Screen 5. Because it's like... Well, now you have us in the audience in this very kind of like depressed situation. And now we know this is what's going to be leading to what brings Sydney back. What will ultimately, I guess, make Gail become more involved in the Woodsboro killings going on. Assuming she herself will just be involved because she's a, presumably back to her old tricks and her reporting ways, I hope. And do we dying in that manner? That just be a very brutal uh send off for his character i don't think that will be disrespectful to the character in any way i i just think if you're going to kill him off do it where it's definitive in the past it's been like just nothing but we think he's dead and he's not man i i want to see something definitive if not having him shot in the head just have his throat slit but i would give it i would give it the double double impact just to solidify that dewey is not coming back i would have him get his throat slit and then shot in the head you can shoot him in the head first and then slit his throat, but when you get your throat slit, presumably, of course, it's going to take some time before that blood just drips out of you like that. So I would rather him get his throat slit first, and then Ghostface picks up his gun, because I don't think we've ever even seen this from a Ghostface in costume. Ghostface in costume picks up Dewey's gun while he's holding onto his neck while the blood is just dripping out. And he shoots him in the head, killing him dead. Point blank period. Dewey is gone. Very emotional ending to that character. And that is what will bring Sydney back to Woodsboro. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.